Hey, Jacko, it's Pete, and I'm just wondering where you are. I mean, um, so, yeah, you guys got to get in the park. We tried to get up at Douglas, but the door didn't open despite us. Hello my friends, this is Humonox and uh, today is a very special day actually uh, because Electron has released OS version 108 for the Digitect and uh, with that OS they've introduced a compressor <laughs> to our lovely little box here and um, that compressor is somewhat special because it also offers a sidechain input and we can use our uh, tracks for that purpose. So I will quickly go in and show you how this thing works. And um, I will not focus on what a compressor is directly because I think um, this is something you guys probably know already. Um, I just want to focus on the sound of this thing and um, what we can come up with that sidechain feature. Because you may know that I'm a very big fan of sidechaining due to uh, the myriad of videos I did about that topic already. Okay, let's go and let's first load a project. I don't want to create anything from scratch, so I take a project which is uh, actually a track that I did a couple of uh, months ago, uh, some techno session. The link should come up in the top right corner if you're interested. But I want to use this thing to demonstrate that compressor. So um, we have a couple of patterns here. This is just a very basic pattern and I will quickly play it and you may recognize it already. Yeah, cool. That's the one I've created earlier. As I said before, the link is coming up in the top right corner. So first, the compressor, what it's doing? Well, it's just basically our master now has two pages. The first page, this is the one that you knew from before. This was where we can set all the levels of our uh, individual tracks and everything. And now the second page, which is uh, now the first page, <laughs> as you can read up here. Just real quick here, yeah, that's one. This is where the compressor is inside and uh, without actually doing anything, this is the default setting for the compressor, without doing anything, let's just play this thing back and dial it in with the mix knob. Yeah. Okay, cool. That sounds pretty good. And um, default attack and release settings, as well as, uh, as threshold settings and everything, and the ratio right here. Um, really, I do not really want to get into what a compressor is and how it works, because you guys know this. And um, just have a look, let's just have a quick look at what we can do with that sidechain input. Now, basically, we can uh, use all of our eight tracks, one to eight, as the input for our sidechaining. And for the sidechain compressor to work, we have uh, what is called a sidechain filter. And this one is uh, actually um, determining to which frequencies of the incoming signal the compressor is reacting and which frequencies it does ignore, so to say. And um, obviously what we want is we want to pump when we want a sidechain effect, um, a classic sidechain effect, we want kind of a pumping effect. And this is actually pretty simple to replicate now. And uh, I quickly go in and quickly dial on these parameters to show you how easy that actually is. So let's hit play. Let's turn down the makeup gain a little. Select our first track. Put the ratio all the way up and the threshold down. Just to, uh, I have to stop real quick. <laughs> um, these settings are quite extreme now. But this should uh, definitely uh, show you what I mean. Let's uh, play this thing back now with those very extreme settings and bring the dry and wet value up while we do it. You hear that? Oh yeah. <laughs> ah, this is extreme, isn't it? Yeah. This is actually totally nice it's uh, really this is pumping like hell and um, these attack and release settings can make it even more drastic Let, when we turn down the release it's getting even more pronounced let's have a listen here this is almost an on off that's uh, getting out again and we turn that down no attack at all anymore, so this is really smudgy now. Maybe put a tongue in now, so like I mean that's extreme again. 
and maybe you can call me back and be like, if you still on or if you're not, just like ignore this message or something like that. So the default settings are actually quite good already and uh, these default settings roughly about here, these are actually quite good already and um, yeah. But um, this is all great and everything's cool and it uh, sounds really good, but we have a problem. And the problem is, um, it's all compressed quite heavily and we do not have our kick inside anymore that way. And um, this is nothing the sidechain filter, uh, or sorry, I forgot the sidechain filter. Let's first have a look at this one to make that effect a little bit more pronounced. Yeah, you probably can't hear so, that yeah, girl. But actually, this thing lets a little bit more of that kick through once I dial it down. This is a low pass filter in that case. It can also work as a high pass, but for the low pass, we will separate the frequency of the incoming signal, which is our track one. This uh, is not so easy to be heard in that full wet mix right now. So let's, I go in and show you how this, uh, how I would like to use this thing in the future. Because um, some of you might know the term of uh, parallel, compression, uh, parallel compression. And this is exactly what the Digitech can do due to its mix parameter. And you can see, we can dial these uh, things in just uh, like this. So we have more dry signal, less compressed, uh, less wet signal, or less dry signal and more wet. And here's where the, uh, where the power of that compressor really starts, because now we can go in and we can have our pumping effect, more or less, but we can still have uh, the definition of our sound, so to say. So um, these attack portions of these individual sounds, they are not completely removed that way. And uh, therefore, this is probably the way I will use this thing in the future, if I'm using it. And so uh, let's start dry and let's go in and let's shape this into something that sounds relatively okay. Let's have a look. Okay, turning this down. And turning it up. Just slightly and a bit more. Now let's use that sidechain filter. To re retain a little bit of our kick. And also a good idea is to check the levels. So um, actually with the makeup gain up here, I will compensate for the loss of uh, volume the signal has. And I will just, um, yeah, try to get this close to each other so that the signal that I have, which is compressed a little bit, uh, almost has the same volume. So let's try that out. And that's okay. I'm taking the release down completely because we are in parallel compression mode now. This way the kick is gone again. This way it comes back. But it's still not like... So there is some slight compression going on now and... It's not killing the kick completely, it still retains it a little bit. There's one problem with this and this is the fact that uh, it is a master compressor and therefore it's compressing everything. In, uh, and it's taking everything into account and especially that takes our kick on our first track into account here. Watch what happens when I'm uh, doing a simple jamming and just mute the kick. You hear this? It's probably much more pronounced if we dial it more. See how this is almost instantly getting a, getting away? And now it's getting in again. And this is a little bit of a problem because uh, since this is a master compressor, it's uh, effectively affecting the whole signal, no matter what we are using 
our sidechain input right here is not sent out to the main outs directly, it's also affected by the compressor. Now, since the compressor is taking the sidechain input right here into account and our kick is on that sidechain input, once we mute it away, um, yeah, it doesn't start to uh, trigger. And therefore, we have a much louder sound and it's also not as compressed as it should be. This is a general problem with compressors, no matter where you use them, with compressors which have a sidechain input, this is a general problem. In a DAW, you solve that issue by using a ghost kick. So a kick that is always there, that is delivering the side chaining, but this kick is actually not to be heard, you know. So you use it as a ghost kick, but we cannot do this on the Digitech itself. So when we want to mute the track, we have to mute it via its send, via its track level. Because uh, the cool thing is, with the track level, we can get that kick away, uh, literally muted. Um, but in the background, it's still working in the compressor and it's still affecting it. So let's have a listen. Let's go to this page. See, this is, this is with muting the kick. And this is without muting the kick. Can you hear that? Compared to... So this is something that we have to consider when we do this. Um, if we are using the kick with our master compressor that way to do our sidechain effect, we should not mute it. On the sequencer but rather mute it so to say with its um, track knob with its track volume this is probably the best way to use that new sidechain feature of the digitech because um, yeah it's not a proper sidechain as i would normally do it because uh, i would i would love to have individual sense on these tracks so i can define what the compressor is actually compressing but uh, if we have a look at these individual tracks, there is no way to do that. So there is no sidechain send or anything. This is really uh, no compressor send, sorry. This is really just a master compressor and nothing more. That's already it. And um, yeah, but I think this is a great addition to the Digitect. I quite like it and um, definitely spices up our sound a little and gives us a lot of uh, possibilities and maybe I'm doing a much more in-depth look at this at these things and maybe I find some more usages for that. Uh, let's see what the future brings. Also, yeah, yeah, this is something which I want to try out, how it behaves with different signals and everything, but uh, for a basic side chainy pumping effect this is actually the way we could go and um, i think it sounds quite good and thank you electron for that okay guys so this was just about it just a really quick demo of that thing and um yeah i see you in my next video bye